is shining. The temperatures are pretty nice. There was even a little breeze. Boy, I guess we're ready to spend some time outdoors. Yeah, Fox 2 meteorologist Angela Huddy is live with the bad news, though, that we won't be out there alone, Angela. Vic and Mandy, I don't know if your yard is anything like my yard has been this summer, but it has felt like an absolute assault of mosquitoes. You cannot go outside without getting a bite. But whether you're in your on your patio in the park or at the soccer match, there are some things you can do to help. If you think the mosquitoes are bad right now, thank our recent wet weather. They need moisture to reproduce and then you back it up with some warm temperatures. A mosquito can go from egg to adult in as few as five days and after that they need to feed. We can actually be more attractive to them this time of the year as it starts cooling off so they pick up on our body temperature and that's what they migrate towards because they know that's potential food. Eliminate the chance for breeding mosquitoes by ridding your property of standing water. Make sure your gutters are clear, you don't have any children's toys or you know, trash can lids that are gathering and holding that water. For water that's intended to stand, such as ponds, there are larvicides that go in the water that are safe for birds and fish. Bug sprays will help you while on a walk or at a sporting event, but sometimes a flip of a switch can be your best friend. If you're going to be out on the back porch, you know, some of the easiest things to do is just turn on a fan. They're not a very strong flyer. Speaking of flying pests, flies also seem bad right now. They've had all spring and summer to kind of enlarge their family so there's a bunch of them out there. They can smell things upwards of a mile away. For homeowners that have pets that obviously have the droppings in the yard, keeping those things cleaned up, um, keeping your trash can lids covered. Jay Everett says to also watch for stinging insects. They've taken a lot of yellow jacket calls at Rottler. At this point, the, the population is getting into the hundreds, even the thousands in some nests. So um, if you're out there cutting grass or you're raking the leaves, just be aware of that. A whole lot of fun things to think about, right? Let me give you one more. Jay Everett with Rottler reminding me that as the cooler air does start to settle in, we may have a little bit of time on this. We want to make sure we check our uh, our door, our windows, excuse me, our screens and around our doors. Make sure the seals here are nice and tight so spiders and other creepy crawlies don't try to make homes in our houses this winter. Reporting live in Maryland Heights, I'm Angela Huddy, Fox 2 News.